What's good everybody? It's your boy James Michael from Jim Reviews here today, not reviewing. I'm here with my cousin. Hey, what's going on? It's Kofuzi here. Happy to be in Austin and in this video with Jamie. You're pretty good at that. You're so smooth. Anyway, I, I watched the video, right? It was titled 26.2 questions. It was cool. I had to find the making up. And then I was thinking like, you know what? Let's do the same thing. But like, right. let's go harder. Okay. 26.2 is cool, but let's do 5K. <laughs> 5,000 questions. <laughs> this is right? going to be a two hour long video. Oh, okay, hang ready? on tight. So many ads in this. Oh yeah, ad, <laughs> ooh, ad revenue going to be on fire. I have every question. <laughs> so last night, I went on Instagram All right. to the people. Oh, and I said, ask me some questions okay. to ask Mr. Kafuzi himself. All right. Now, I purposely blocked you from the thing so you couldn't see the question. I didn't see that. I was looking at your Instagram yep, last night. Yep, ain't nothing, nothing. <laughs> yeah. You're blocked. <laughs> so Daddy. Yeah. That's so that way, all these questions will be like authentic. You don't okay. have any prep time. Okay, go for it. 5,000. 5,000 questions to subscribe, like, and uh, whatever you do, do not follow him on Instagram or on YouTube. Don't do it. No. Links no. are down below, but don't do it. All right, we're walking. Yeah. I'm not going to run. Okay. We already ran already in your video. Yeah, we, were, we just ran like three miles. Yeah, three, three miles is a long way. All right, so we got it. The first question is, okay. do you review shoes just for an excuse to get a lot of shoes? Uh, I review shoes because I like having a lot of shoes and then more shoes come. So it's a, a good positive feedback loop, but I don't run to get more shoes. They just come at this point, which is great. I love it. How many shoes do you have? Right now, I have probably about 14 or 15 pairs of shoes. You only got two feet. I know, I, I mean, I gotta get rid of some of them. Well, I, not rid of them, but I gotta finish the review. And then I donate them. So like, I go, I get a bunch and I try to get them out of the house as soon as I can. That's a good thing, donate it's a great, shoes. It's a great thing to donate shoes because I usually donate them at 100 miles. So someone else can get some life out of it. I'm hoping at the local Salvation Army, there's a kid that otherwise might not have a decent pair of running shoes for cross country season or track that can get either a pair of racing flats or daily trainers or max cushion. So that's what I'm hoping for. You're a good guy. Uh, I try to be, I try to be. Um, Next question. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite running shoe that you've ever run in? Pegasus 33 Shield. Damn, not specific. Why yeah. the Shield? Uh, it was the first winter shoe I ever ran in. I love the Pegasus. Uh, so it has a lot of sentimental value. It was the first time I ran all year round was when I had that shoe and I just love that shoe. I still think it looks amazing. I love the color work on it and easily my favorite running shoe. Okay. Any plans of running outside of the US? Yes, not immediate plans, but I would love to. Um, I would love to run the world majors. Probably the first most likely place would be London um, for me to go because it's just a run crazy country. They have a really great marathon. I'd love to do it at some point. I'm not sure when I'll be able to do it. They want tips from Kapuzi. Okay. okay. They want to know. I'm not a coach. No, you are now. When I run him, how do I increase my max heart rate and sustain longer runs at a higher pace slash heart rate? Two ways is run some runs at higher heart rate, but also run a lot of runs at lower heart rate to make your heart stronger. So that's uh, is, that, is that your question? No. You didn't show me like the name on there. But. What is the likelihood that ASICS will make the best shoe in 2020? Uh, I think it's not likely. I think they will have a lot of really great shoes this year. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. And what they're coming out with, I think looks fantastic. So if it could run as well as it looks, they're gonna have a really great year. You saved it. You saved it. You, you, were, you were like on the edge of making me upset, but you know, you saved it. Running brand that you're looking forward to in 2020. Saucony. They're coming out with some carpet plated shoes. I love Power Run so far. I've been running in a couple of different Saucony's this year. And I think this is the year that they're really going to make a really big impact. I tried one of them. I saw you had one yesterday. A lot oh, of people yeah. commented on that. Oh posted God. A, I posted a picture. Of I don't think I'm supposed to like show that I have it yet. Oh, my bad. <laughs> well, it's gone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I didn't promote it. It was like you took a picture of me. It, yeah. You didn't like tag them in it. It was just I didn't tag them in. Yeah, they don't, they don't care that much. That's well, fine. you were to a race. Well, 
I didn't think, you know, uh, famous YouTubers would be all <laughs> running around taking pictures and shit. Well, I mean, I think if we're if we're gonna get to the level of like the tech and the like the phone reviewers, people are gonna have to start recognizing you can't you can't just bring them out to a race unless they're incognito because there's gonna be people snapping pictures. Mm. Because people want to know. I see. And I think that they should lean into that. There's a frenzy. There's a hunger for more information. So use that to your advantage. What is the coldest temperature that you ran in? Negative four degrees Fahrenheit. I think negative wow. three. Uh to see if I could. Stupid contest. That guy was wearing Vicar Flies. Is he? Oh, yeah. yeah, don't be that guy. But I mean, today's the marathon and he's not running the marathon. Yeah. Not that you have to. People can wear what they want. It's your feet, it's your money. See, no, you're do too, you see the right thing. Stop saying the right thing. <laughs> Say something, something edgy, like don't do that, that's dumb. Like, uh, do you ever piss anybody off like in your videos as far as like, Got it. Got in an argument, and the comments are like, you know. Yeah, that happens a lot. Uh, there, I have a, like a, a very dedicated legion of uh, trolls, not in the good kind of way, but in the I, I don't think that they mean well, and um, it usually has to do with heart rate, heart rate training. That's usually when it comes up. Uh, they're asking, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm always hungry. For what? Uh, I love breakfast food, so. You like French toast? I can do French toast. I like French. I made some last night. Okay. How tight do you keep it? Very tight. Nice. I'm not sure what that means, but no one knows what it means. <laughs> it's provocative. <laughs> it's suggestive. Why do you only wear black shoes? I like black shoes. They just, I think they look the nicest. But also, I'm starting to think about doing the comparison shoes like not comparing against other each other, but across the brand. And I think it makes more sense if there's a single color. So I like black shoes. Most of my coat clothes are black or gray. So it just kind of fits. Boring question, boring question. How many Jamie videos have you truly watched to the end? To the end? Almost all of them. The only ones that I don't watch are the ones that I'm going to review soon. So like I did, I did watch the infinity one yesterday or two days ago. Um, and that's still coming, but um, most of the time I'm like a month late because you get the shoes so early that by the time I get them, it's been a while. So, but I do watch them all to the end. Thank you. It helps the uh, algorithm. The algorithm likes it when there's a long watch duration. Yeah. The ratio has to be like high. Not for my questions. Okay. Have you ever disliked a fellow YouTubers, running YouTubers video? Disliked? Yes, I have. Who? I don't know his name. He's a guy out of England and he's always grumpy. <laughs> he always complains about uh, people who comment things that aren't very intelligent and he just rants all the time. And I was like, I don't like this negativity. I did, I did also express that in a comment because I don't think the dislikes are that helpful, but I did do that and then also tell him like, there's a lot of negativity here. I get you're having a bad day, but it's been, Hard to watch. Kafuzi, yeah. Nike. Yeah. Any thoughts on anything you want to share on that? Yeah, I mean, I still haven't run in anything Nike since uh, I made my video about it. And I've been waiting for them to make a statement. I think that they're trying to do things uh, without directly addressing the past and they're trying to move on and trying to do it that way um, without highlighting the bad things as they move forward. I think they're, they're too big for that. They're too big of a identity just to be Maybe. like, ah, oh, yeah, under the rug. We'll just throw some apple flies at you and you'll forget about it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's hard. I think though, for me, and we talked about it a little bit yesterday. Um, I, as a sh someone who reviews shoes on YouTube, I, I think that they're still important enough that I need to review the shoes but I don't have to wear the gear or the shorts if I don't feel like it yet. I'm hoping that changes. I would love to be able to be back completely on, on Team Nike, but um, to the extent that I was. I will <laughs> say one thing, it's something I gained so much more respect, not that I didn't respect you before. It was that a lot of people, when it happened, mm -hmm. I did my video on it, everyone mm -hmm. did their video or thoughts on Instagram or comments mm -hmm. down below. And I feel like so many people were like, yeah, protest or mm -hmm. against, whatever, doing, mm -hmm. the, doing the most. Yeah. You, you weren't that dramatic, but you know, they were doing the most. Mm -hmm. 
the Infinity uh, React mm -hmm. came out, or Alpha Fly release came out, yeah. or anything that new came out. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nike. I thought y'all was protesting. On my video, I never said I was protesting. I just say, no, uh, they need to like get rid of this guy Alberto and just do something right and do, do right. Yeah, you can be on it. Oh come on, there's nothing wrong. With well, you have a camera too. What? You have a nice camera. Come, what camera do you have? Oh, this is just a, a regular EOS Rebel. 60D, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Normally, I have a big sports lens on here because I, I mm -hmm. video or picture, take pictures of my kids playing lacrosse. Okay. You have the 7200. What is it? Huh? It's the it's the seventy two hundred. Yeah. 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 I can't afford that one. So <laughs> well, I okay, envy so you. You know what? This is the deal. Find somebody really rich that doesn't want to hold it because it's super heavy. <laughs> like twenty five hundred dollars, I got it for four hundred. What? what? I know, right? Dude, winning. Somebody, winning, right? Yeah. Just find Hashtag somebody who's, who's too lazy to hold it. Find some. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. No, it's fine. It's a good tip. Pro tip. Are you lazy? No. Do you ever feel like? The pressure of being YouTuber is like, gets a little overwhelming. Yeah, I mean, the pressure that gets to me is when I can't respond to all the comments all the time because I feel like if people have taken enough time to watch a video and to write something, I want to respond something back. But I've been so lucky that there's a lot. And so sometimes I can't always get to them all. And so that always like weighs on my mind a lot. And so sometimes I'll be like sitting in the couch where it's family time and I find myself like responding to comments and I feel conflicted about that. I went through a similar thing where like when you're first starting, mm -hmm. you have, you know, your hundred subscribers, they ask you a question, you give them a nice, long, detailed yeah. conversation. You can reply back and forth on the same yeah. topic and like have something meaningful. Mm -hmm. Then when you have like 500 comments and then each one's replying to different ones and like you miss one or something yeah. pops up the second you get off. It's a lot, but um, every time I feel overwhelmed by it, I always try to think about how lucky I am that people are spending the time to write and comment and I try to keep it in stride and, you know, Sometimes I don't get to all of them, but I always try to. Yeah, I think it's important, you know, like you are someone, like I live in Austin. Mm -hmm. People know who you are. Mm -hmm. Like people who met me go, hey, Jamie, you know, mm -hmm. they ask about you, like how's it going to go? You guys can go to collaboration. Yeah. Like you're known in the running communities across America, the world, you know, like I'm sure you got people in Brazil and everywhere else who's like, hey, Kapuzi. Mm -hmm. I think you're a good representation of the people. I think I see you and I'm like, oh, the guys, he's not the fastest guy. He's someone who's worked at it consistently, consistently over time, and can inspire other people to do the same. Health reasons, maybe competitive reasons, whatever reason you may have, and he's genuine. It's hard, it's hard to find genuine people who are not here out here just for views, out here for clout, out here for recognition or fame or whatever it may be. Like I feel like you're one of the people that if YouTube said, "All right, guys, no more monetization, no more paying," you will still upload. I feel like you would still give the people what they want. Yeah. The people that I watch every day, I hope what they're getting out of it is that, you know, there's a longer kind of overarching narrative of a guy that's just trying to run a lot and see where it goes. And in the meantime, I'm talking about the things that I'm using. Have you ever got paid for a review? Uh, like two times. Uh, and I made that clear that I was getting paid. For. And I'm gonna assume it wasn't a major shoe review. It was like probably an accessory or something. It was uh, or detergent. Detergent. Sports detergent. So like powder you could add into your. So laundry. that same company, yeah. won't, I won't say the name. Yeah. Reach out to me. Yeah, everyone did one. I and saw it, that. Yeah. And I was like, so I still I said, well, I'm doing it my way. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna give it like you no. Know, this is blah blah blah. I'm mm -hmm. doing a, a skit. Mm -hmm. And then they didn't really like it. Mm -hmm. Instead of just saying they didn't like it, they're like, can you just tweak a few things? Yeah. I said, no, you keep your money. Yeah, yeah, I've turned down a couple of other people that have tried to do that. Uh, one, I tried to get them to donate, instead of paying me, pay like the charity runner of the week. I think I did that one time. Um, but it got really complicated. They kept making it complicated. And then other people, they were, they wanted to see it before it posted. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's a hard note. That's like, you don't want to see it. It's kind of like I was saying, like, with a rep sends you a shoe, send a good one, or realize that it's not a good one, that you're not going to baby. Yeah, right? the, the, I, once I make the video and put yeah. time and edit it, like, yeah. I'm, not gonna I'm not getting paid enough for <laughs> to be like, oh, yeah. let me redo the whole thing. Yeah. No, no. There's no reshare. Yeah, no, I do videos for, like, other companies outside of YouTube, where okay. I'd, like, do, like, little yeah. Instagram posts okay. or, like, commercials for, like, cool. a donut shop. Mm -hmm. And, like, I'll show because they're my client. Right. I'm like, hey, this yeah. is what we're doing. How you like the bike? Can we change these things? If it's a, uh, an opinion mm -hmm. piece mm -hmm. on what I'm thinking, 
my opinion doesn't change because you like the video. Right, right. And so like there was a company that we were in talks for like two weeks, three weeks of like emails every day, trying to figure out the amount, what the video is going to be about. And they kept trying to like, but we want to just make sure you're pronouncing the words correctly. I'm like, okay, how about we get on the phone and you tell me how to pronounce all yeah. the words. And they were like, no, we just want to make sure. And I'm like, no, I'm, I can't. It was a lot of money. Well, for me, it was a lot of money. What's the biggest amount you've got for an endorsement or video push uh, dollar amount? I'll tell you mine. Well, I mean, the, the detergent one, they paid me like a couple hundred bucks. Nice. Yeah, so that was, that was good. Uh, that was before like I really had a lot of monetization yet. So it was a sizable amount. Yeah. But it just got so complicated. I mean, they were great to work with. Once you I, had money involved, like, things get complicated every time. Things get real complicated. That's why it's just really easy to just not like work out money like if you want to send me a product fine i'll give it back if you want it back but no one longer wants the shoes back if they want a heart rate monitor back or a watch back yeah. they can have it back but no one has ever asked for it back no one wants earbuds back because then because they go in your ears but um i got paid 500 once oh yeah That's right a lot. a lot bro i had groceries that week <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing yeah I went to the local store here mm -hmm. And I was just buying up all kinds of knives. I had cookies yeah. and I had I bought a steak. I don't know how to, I don't know how to cook steak, but yeah. I bought one. Cause yeah. you know what? This is what money do. We buy yeah. steaks. Was it worth it? Hell yeah! <laughs> I ate well that week, bro. Yeah, the the one the one that I ended up not working out. That was gonna be the first one that was gonna pay me over a thousand dollars. What? And it was a lot for a very small product. Bruh, I would have so done it. Yeah, I, I'm just like, this is just asking a lot. I would have sold out. I would have sold I out. Think, I think that I would have had to make four videos for it. Like, I just oh, I would have sold out. Yeah. I would have been like, all right, you guys are doing too much. I mean, it's a lot of money, but I was like, you know, there's, it's just not worth, it's just going to make things too complicated down the line. And so, you know. um, let's see, that was, that was like 4,999 questions. Um, I guess we need one more question to, to 5k. You want to ask me a question or anything, or? Uh, I, well, I did ask you a whole bunch of questions. What, on what video? We made together. We just made a video together running with Jamie, and that'll be on my channel if you guys want to go check that out. Maybe the links will be down below, possibly? Maybe, it depends if I make it fast enough. Oh, <laughs> well, it's quick cuts, right? Yeah, I think so. And it some, should be a pretty easy one. And then some, some music in the background, and yeah. make sure you make me look good. I will. Get, get, my, good, get my good angle. Yeah, I will. I don't want that wide angle. I want that good angle. Anyway, with that said, be, oh wait, you want to do the outro? Yeah. You want them to, you know, yeah. be sure to stay in school. Be sure to stay in school. Keep it tight, and if you can, don't do drugs. You did it so backwards, bro. <laughs> so, oh my God, look, man, look. See, this, this is this is this is why people say you can push this. This is why I don't want this guy on my channel. <laughs> Thomas messed it up. You messed it up. They said, whenever we do our thing, you bet not mess this up. Damn. That hurts. That hurts. Oh, follow me on Instagram. And you, should. you should follow me on Instagram. Please, I have like, like 8,000 now. 8,000. I'm not quite where you're at, but I got 8,000. I'm proud of myself. That's a lot. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. All right. Yo, what's going on?